everybody, and welcome to Heartworm, a uh, kind of retro, it was described as lo-fi uh, survival horror game with uh, uh, freaking tank controls right there. Who sees that anymore? Honestly, I'm not going to play with them because I, uh, I don't have that much experience with them. So, you know, that's on me. But, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, uh, the demo for Heartworm that is part of the Steam Next Fest. And that's how I heard about it. And I was just like, yo, that looks interesting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in it. Uh, I am moving the cursor right now because, uh, <laughs> there's a, a video that likes to play beforehand. And I'll actually play that video once we get started. But, uh, yeah, it just, it starts too fast and i know i'm gonna i'm gonna take too long with this intro but regardless regardless uh let's actually play that video now Okay, jumping into the actual game here. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's uh, some interesting options, definitely. Huh, yeah, and controls, obviously. Uh, a very interesting uh, tone setter that, <laughs> that uh, opening cutscene is. I don't know what's going on there. 
Uh, just having some nightmares. But, uh... Jeez, it looks clean with the freaking pixelation off, but... God, I want it. Is that okay? Is that okay if I just want it? It's probably going to make it scarier because I can't understand what's happening. Anyway, modern over-the-shoulder aiming or tank control aiming. That's really interesting. I like that they're giving me all these options. I think I'm going to go over-the-shoulder just because uh, I'm bad at game. Uh, let's confirm and begin. I see we use a camera as a weapon. Is a very... uh. God, what's that freaking game now? I'm blanking on it. I remembered this entire time until I actually needed to say it. The Wii game, dude. Fuck. Everyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. Hey. Sorry you haven't heard from me in a while. I've been busy trying to find out about this place. You're not going to believe me, and I don't even know if I really believe it myself, but I guess a part of me must, because I'm going. It's far, on an abandoned road, a few miles from that power plant in the mountains. It was hard to find anything about it. I started on message boards, and I ended up in a chat room talking with people who know people who know people who've gone. They said a lot of crazy stuff. But the one thing that they all agreed on is that in that house, there's a room that can take you to the other side to see the people that you've lost again. The thing is, no one who's gone has ever come back. And that's why I'm writing you. Not for advice, not to get you to talk me out of going. Actually, by the time you read this, I'll already be there. I just wanted to let you know, in case I don't come back. That way, you won't be wondering where I've gone. Either way, you don't have to worry about it. Fatal frame. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had to Google it during that cutscene, but oh my God. I, I heard everyone screaming at me. I opened my window and I, I heard them. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, anyway, survival guide movement. Uh, I will be real, was not expecting uh, voice acting. Pretty cool. Pretty good too. Like not, not bad. I, I would... A game like this, I would expect it to be cheesy and, and shitty just on purpose to have that old video game feel. But anyway, you can switch between the tank uh, player relative and modern camera relative control schemes and the options. Press escape or start to access the options menu. Cool. So here we are. Oh, that's going to get that's going to be weird for me to. Uh. <laughs> not have control of the camera. I, I can't even remember the last game that I played that I didn't have control of the camera. Any other buttons do anything here? Okay. Triangle or, or Y or whatever controller you're using. I'm using a PS5 controller. Here we got the menu. We got some film. That's obviously our ammo. <laughs> Cigarettes. Girl, you ain't fine if you're smoking. That's what I'm saying. And a lighter. Okay, cool. Got our little camera. Would you like to take the camera? No. I would like to be defenseless. Survival got equipment. You can equip or use items you find. For example, your camera, which can defeat in defend against enemies and interact with some objects in the world. You can open your window with tab or Y, select the camera, and then select quit. Cool. Examine. 
A 35 millimeter SLR camera. It was my grandfather's. Oh, add a mod. Cool. Uh, let's equip it. Okay. I took a picture without even fucking... Oh. Huh. It didn't even use ammo. Or film. God, I gotta stop with that, dude. <laughs> uh, my camera ammo. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, damn. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't aimed with a controller in a long fucking time, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, aiming. Cool. I'm just, I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you've equipped the camera in your inventory, ready it by holding the right mouse button or the left shoulder button on your controller. Uh, while ready, you can move with your mouse, right joystick, or D-pad to aim. Wow, actually utilizing the D-pad. Crazy. Who would have thought in this day and age? Uh, once a target is in sight and in range, the center circle of the reticule will fill in, and you can take your shot using the left mouse button or the right shoulder button. It only uses ammo. It only uses film. Jesus. I'm gonna have a hard time with that. It only uses film when you actually get a kill, it seems? Or actually, like, damage something? Holy shit, you're a few pixels, huh? Street lights are on, I gotta go home. To my Castlevania upside down home. Is this a door animation? Like old Resident Evil Dino Crisis era? I remember Dino Crisis? Lord. Uh oh. Well, who the hell is this? If I'm not playing as her. <laughs> who the hell am I right now? Whoever I am, creeping up on women at night, not a good play, if I'm going to be real. Especially ones that look like they have pepper spray, like straight up. They probably have like one of those little uh, kitty brass knuckle things. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Fuck you. Oh, shit! No, turn around! Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh, meow. oh, now you give me the fucking combat tutorial, dude. That's so cheeky and shitty. I love it. You can also use your camera to defend yourself against enemies. Ammo. Oh, oh. Bro! Bro! They said ammo. Okay, I'm justified. I'm totally justified. I don't even have to fucking change up my words. Ammo and healing items are limited, so choose fight fights wisely. Holy shit, that's hilarious, actually. Yeah, fuck you, kid. Take a picture of your fucking pixel ass. Bitch. Bitch. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Now, do I want to pick this fight is the thing. Also, where the hell am I going? Am I going this way? That red building looks very enticing. Should I... Holy crap, I'm allowed to go here? My grandparents' house is locked. Okay. Can I break into my grandparents' house? Bunch of garbage. I'm not moving it. Chapter 3, enter the tape, window 1? I don't know if that's a placeholder message? Or what? Interesting. Look at this sassy bitch. I love her. I love her... Her thigh art. Alright. Excuse you... No, I'm slow. Fuck you. 
Oh shit. I gotta remember to turn around and do this, man. It 360 no scope. Damn it. Ah, it's gonna hit me. What the hell? Oh, do I have to... What the hell? It hit me. It looks filled, right? Okay, that just... That one took a lot more damage than the last one. And now I'm into my reserves here. Okay. That's actually not good that I fought that dude. So I really gotta... Uh, I really gotta pick my paths here, it seems. Please tell me there's something in here. My grandfather always kept this locked. I need the key to get in. Excellent. Cool. What a waste of fucking resources. What is this? A TV sticking out of the ground. Was it buried? The light coming from it is so bright, it's painting the sky. Interesting. Okay, I thought that would have a different prompt there. The hell is this? Why is it blue? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Leave that screen. Oh, it's blue because... The light from the TV. Very funny. Very cool. Is the back door open? It's stuck and won't budge. Cool. This one doesn't have placeholder text, it seems. This window. I can't even get around here. Okay. Well. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay. Yep. The, uh, <laughs> modern controls already give me trouble with the uh, camera angles there. Very cool. That's why they have tank controls in the first place. Okay. Uh, I have quite a bit of freedom here, which is a problem for me. Considering I don't know what to do. God damn, that takes so much ammo. Okay, there's a bunch of TVs. They're just blaring static. Okay big eye on a billboard. That's good use of advertising money. Just a big eye on a billboard. Very cool. Anyone home in this entire neighborhood? Hello? <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Not expecting that. Let's go. Lit cigarette. Someone was here recently. Very cool. Violin. Or a fiddle, as some would like to call it down in the south there. Is this a, uh, is this a save room? Like, is this a, is this a thing? Feeling a lot less calm now. Why? It's a filing cabinet with a candle. What the hell's making you anxious about that? Oh, hell yeah. I only have four inventory slots? Ooh, yikes. Okay. That's not good. The same fire still burning. The same fire. So this is our place? Those are our cigarettes? I can save my progress here if this wasn't a demo. <laughs> Fair, dude. The same indecipherable message scrawled on a on the paper. Okay. Very cool. The same statue. Okay. Well, I guess this was our place. Very neat. Very cool. That's fun, I guess. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'll be real. Okay. Uh, that light doesn't, or that house doesn't have a light on it, so I'm assuming it's not, uh... Whoa! Survival guide map. 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 Uh, you can access the map 
from your inventory or by pressing M on your keyboard or select on your controller. New areas you enter are automatically tracked and you can gauge their level of completion based on the amount of static covering them. Interesting. Very, uh, Resident Evil. Something's stopping me from opening it. Is it this staticky door right here? Also, I didn't check the map, even though it just told me to check the map. Okay, there's still some static. Uh, why can't I move? Oh, okay, there it is. There's still quite a bit of static. Also, I love that it, it gives me the whole map immediately. That's cool. So I could have gone up there. I could have gone down this way. Which I think I might circle back to, if I'm honest. And it, do, it does give me the red locked doors, but I don't know if that is because I interacted with them. If it shows me that before I interact with them, that's awesome. For me, at least. <laughs> uh, okay. Is this snow? A key? Damn it. I can't hold it. Oh, I can. I'm an idiot. Okay. I guess I do have more than four inventory slots. It won't budge. Red, red static is all I can see through the crack. What about this door? Why is it snowing inside? Who cares? Nobody asked. Fuck you. Why is it snowing out back? Oh shit. Enemy. Oh shit. Enemy. Oh shit. I'm going to, uh... It's locked. Is this pausing the game? Let us wait and find out. It might have locked the enemies in place, and it's just the ambience that goes. Uh, it's locked, but I don't see a keyhole anywhere. Cool. Anything here? Dealing with grief. We appreciate you choosing our space to honor your loved ones. The grieving process can be long and difficult. Here are some suggestions to help you navigate this process. Simple rituals can provide profound comfort. For example, dedicating a memorial space and lighting a candle. Candles have symbolic, symbolized hope, healing, and remembrance for centuries. Lighting a candle can be a beautiful and tangible way to honor your loved one's memory. The soft glow of the flame represents the enduring light of their presence in your heart. The rest is a pan the rest of the pamphlet is illegible. Now I do have no options to interact here. Okay, hold on. If I go here and use, I don't need to use that right now. Cool. It does in fact lock these motherfuckers. Oh shit! DBZ teleported behind me. Get fucked. Oh shit, he's not dead. Ow. Okay, gotta turn around slowly. How the hell did you hit me? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, don't make noises. That makes me actually feel like you're... Oh, God, I'm in danger. Ugh. Can't combine these items? Really? I can't reload my camera. Um... Thirty-five millimeter film for a camera. Okay. Now, what do these cigarettes do exactly? I really need to quit. Does it heal me? I don't need to use this right now. Okay. Guess I'm just fucking hurt. You ready to see this limping animation literally 24-7? Um, okay. Nothing to do here, honestly. Oh, my animation's gone, though. Am I fine? No, I'm still in danger. 
Okay. Thought I healed. Never mind. Uh, I did try the door, and it didn't have a keyhole. Very cool, very cool. Anything over here? Oh, let me uh, actually check the map, shall we? Okay, there's quite a bit to do here, actually. I kind of... I kind of don't mind that it doesn't show us exactly where we are in the area. I guess that's fine, as long as things are relatively small, you know? Jesus, what is this place? What is this thing? This big red thing. Red pre pixel thing. <gasps> yes, dude! First aid kit, brother. Let's fucking go, and I'm fine now. Okay, I guess the snow's too deep this way. Yep, just cuts off there. Okay. I don't want to fight that enemy over there. I see him, but I don't want to fight him. When is this camera angle going to change, dude? I'm so fucking far away. <laughs> okay. I don't want to fight him, but I do kind of want to see what's over here. No, I'm, I don't think I'm going to risk it. Honestly. I wonder if the house key is for... My house? Or my, my grandparents' house, I should say? Or anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Excellent. Garage door won't move. Cool. Where the hell did I come from? Am I so lost? I am. There was a third thing here. Also, holy shit, this angle for the fucking controls is awful. Like, that right there, I'm holding up. I'm holding up on the controller. I'm holding down on the controller. Terrible. Anyway. Oh, fuck me. Run, 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 run. No, sir. Please don't slow me down. Please let me be. Let me go back to what I was doing. Okay. I don't know what this key is to. But I'm sure we'll find out. I'm assuming it's to uh, either the front house or the the back. It says house key, so I'm assuming it's the the actual house part. What the hell does that say up on the highway? I'm gonna have to get closer. Do you remember? No. In fact, I don't. Speed limit 25. Get over yourself, dude. This is clearly a 30. Jesus. Fucking grandmas live here, dude. Well, I mean, literally. Our grandparents' house is right here. But... Also, we live on this street. I'm assuming. Unlocked with the house key. Let's go, brother. Good stuff. Oh, shit. It's flooded. Oh, shit. I can't run. Well, that's not fun. That's not fun for anyone. Oh, especially this fucking guy. Where'd he go? Oh, fuck. God damn it. You son of a bitch. God, what the fuck? You son of a bitch. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Where is he? Oh, he's upstairs. Oh, God. Okay. I'm back in danger, aren't I? Caution? Not bad. That's fine. I'll take caution. Static TV? Awesome. What is this on the table? More f ammo? Lamau. Good, because I just uh, had to reload there. Anything on these bookshelves? I am smacking my head up against it and hitting the X button. Very cool. Uh, I think we'll probably head upstairs. We'll check these doors real quick. Uh, let's actually... It looks like these doors aren't... The doorknob is missing. Okay. 
So I haven't interacted with that one upstairs, but it is red on the map, which is very cool. Very good for me. God, she keeps turning around every time I do that, which is the reason for the tank controls. But also, I probably would have died in that fight had I not uh, had modern controls. Hello? Can you enter? Thank you. I was mashing it, bro. Oh, okay. I thought there was a cutscene playing. Grandma? Grandpa? What's up with the face hallway? <laughs> Dude, if I went to my grandparents' house and I saw this, I'd kill them immediately. I would bury them. Jesus Christ. Okay. Awesome. Shit's locked the video game. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love using that mechanic to uh, completely cheese some shit. Can I turn this off, please? Why is this pulsing red? Y'all see that? Okay, it seems to be just a graphical thing. Okay, yeah, especially... No. Especially in the bathroom? Absolutely not, dude. I would rather shit in my socks. Jesus Christ. Absolutely not. It won't open. Sick! This was a huge fucking, uh... Yeah. This is a huge, good, good test of time. Waste of time. There's gotta be something I can do here, right? An unlit candle. I can't move it at all. It's like it's cemented in place. Ayo! Candle is lit. It feels like something changed, but not here. Okay. Fuck. Whatever that means. Jesus. It won't open. Okay. Okay, nothing down there. That's so jarring, though. That I can just click that. And immediately... <laughs> you like that? You got motion sickness? Okay, shit's just locked. I love the little 360 she does every time the camera angle changes. Because I have it on modern controls. That's so great. Okay. Another enemy spawned? Why is it blue? Oh, uh, the TV. Um. Did the handle come back? Is that what happened? No. Okay. Anything here? Anything here? It's stuck. Jesus Christ, that actually got me. That sounds so good. That fucking thunder. Huh. Okay. Y'all ready for, uh... Pat Pat gets beaten by a puzzle for... Babies? <laughs> no, it's not for babies. I don't know what's uh, going on here. Um, I lit the candle, and it says something changed. Oh my god, her limp. Is that really just... Caution? Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's go back here and see if... This is the only other thing I can think of that this changed. That this unlocked here. Oh! Unlocked with the house key! Oh, shit. Okay. I for sure thought it was used up. I don't know why I... Hold on. Yeah, no, I still have it in my inventory. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an actual dumbass. What is that? CDs? It looks like one of those Pekka's uh, blank CDs you used to buy to rip CDs to your friends. That was cool. Remember those days? That was fun. Obituary. JR, age 68. Beloved husband, father, and grandfather died unexpectedly Sunday, June 25th, 1996. JR was born in the Bronx and lived in Bridgeport for 63 years. 
Jesus Christ. Could you imagine living in the same building for 63 years? Well, not necessarily the same building. I'm assuming the same house, you know? Anyway, he retired in 1991 from a long engineering career at Birkin Palmer Corp. He loved baseball, playing for the Birkin Palmer Diehards, and coaching North End Little League from 1978 to 1985. JR was also a member of the chess club at Sacred Heart University. Many remember him as instrumental in the support and preservation of the under underrepresented community and neighborhood, one where he and his wife Joan raised a lovely, f loving family. Survivors, in addition to his wife, include three loving and devoted sons, several, uh, seven cherished grandchildren, and several nieces and nephews. Funeral services will be held at... Oh, no, will be held Thursday. The rest is torn off and missing. Okay. The grandpappy's dead. That much I figured. What's with the big hole? Is that another one of your uh, fun things your grandparents do while they're retired? <laughs> Digging holes? Uh, mostly broken tools and some old magazines. Box full of old toys left behind and forgotten. Lots of VHS tapes. Most of them are unlabeled and, and impossible to read. Okay, I can't interact with this hole in any way. Oh, here we go. The light coming from below is blinding. That's it? That's all you have to say? Not, well, oh my god, why is there a huge fucking hole right here? Lots of videos? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what is this? Puzzle? Fuck. <laughs> as soon as I saw that bottom one, I was like, shit. Okay. Okay, hold on. We can do this. Oh. <laughs> that was actually real easy. Okay, never mind. Simple. Super simple. Let's go get those CDs, shall we? There's a box of tissues. What is this exactly? Will you take the burst mod? Ooh, baby. Add mod. Yes, please. Audit camera with burst mode, baby. Burst fire. Brah. Holy shit, that lit up the place, huh? And then it slowly goes back. That's funny. Oh, he had a little model train set. Oh, Grandpa was autistic. Okay. A detailed model diorama depicting a small city near a mountain. That's it? That's all you want for me? Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit that again. Okay. Well, this seemed... Uh... Unfruitful in the sense of progression. Definitely love that mod, though. We're definitely going to be having a time with that. For sure. That's probably going to help so much. Honestly. Can I just... Oh. Oh, hold on. 13. And. Okay, that's what I was worried about. So. So it seems when you're not readied with the camera, you can hit the fire button to basically just light your surroundings with the flash. And then it actually uses ammo when you're scoped in. And it also uses three times the amount of ammo. So that actually might become a problem. We'll see. Okay. You son of a bitch. Can I really get you from there? Get fucked. Two hits, that's it? Or two trigger pulls, really? Get shit on. 
Oh, yeah, there was this door back here. Stock won't budge. Never mind. Uh, actually, maybe the window? Oh, hold on. Maybe I can get in through one of these? No? Okay. Never mind. Oh, that's the fucking boxes that will move. That's right. That sucks. This game's awesome. <laughs> Even though I feel really stupid playing it. Because that's just who I am. I am very stupid. Okay, never mind. Let's go back inside. Let's try to find something else. Um, I thought for sure. Okay, this room actually doesn't have any static on it. Also... Hold on. Change zoom. Yeah, look how unstatic that is. The one with the hole still is static. Oh, probably because I need to go into the hole or some shit. Who knows? Uh, oh shit, that zooms out real quick. Doesn't- it, this literally looks like the only thing I've completed out of the entire game right now. <laughs> the only single room I've completed. Alright, well let's go back upstairs. Let's see if... I don't know, maybe I just overlooked something. If not, I'm just gonna go cry myself to sleep tonight. And never post this video ever. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, locked. Oh, there's like a... It won't open. Because there's like a... A lock on the actual door, see? Or is that the handle? I don't know. Looks like a lock. I did light this candle! I have successfully lit the fuck out of this goddamn candle. Did I lit that candle so fucking good? You have no idea. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn it. It's interacting with the candle. Fuck me. I don't know what that candle did, dude. I'll be real. Is there not a sprint or something? I really don't know what that candle did. I'll have to, uh... <laughs> Probably look it up. Let's be real. I suck at game. Don't really know what this changed. I will, however, probably go check out down the road that I didn't go down the first time that I circled back to. Oh, well, I actually never checked this out. Maybe this is a thing. Uh, I have a really bad feeling about whatever is on the other side of this fence. Cool. Go there, though. Progress. Damn it. Okay. God, that's scary. I don't know why that noise scared me. Okay, looks like there's one ghosty ghoul over there. And we can take care of him of two clicks. Come on, motherfucker. Actually, you're not even aggroed. I'm just gonna go around you. What is this? More film! Excellent. 48 fucking film. We are swimming in it, boys. Anything I can interact over here? No. My grandfather used to work here. It's locked. The store closed down years ago. Well, that doesn't help. That really does not help me. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. Shit, this camera angle. Alright. That's a little extreme. I didn't realize that was a fence. Epic. Anything over here? There is, like, you know, light here. Oh, I can just zoom in. That's right. I forgot I have... Capabilities. The road is completely destroyed. There's no getting past. Yep, figured. Anything here? No? Doesn't really look like I can get back there. Um. Huh. 
says there is something off to the left there. You see that? Like over here? Maybe there's a hole in the fence or something? Road is completely destroyed. Yada, yada, yada. Huh. I don't actually see anything here that'll allow me to pass. So I don't know... Like, I'm not crazy, right? That looks like a little notch I can get into. Interesting. And then this was a little notch over here, too. Right? Just... Just a little cutout. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to be running into that ghost. That ghoul. He's still wandering over there. We're gonna go over here. Check this out. Over yonder. Just gonna tell me the same fucking thing, I bet. Rose completely destroyed. No getting past. Very cool. Very cool. <gasps> Yo, is that what I fucking think it is, bro? Is that a motherfucking health kit? Fuck yeah, dude. I'll use that when I'm in danger. I don't want to use it right now. Hello, anyone home? Another broken lock. There's no light on this house, so I'm assuming it's not, uh, playable. Anything over here? I love that I can do that, dude. My eyesight's so bad. <laughs> I love that I can just zoom in and look at details. Because I purposely picked the pixelated option, like an idiot. Or like a true gamer. Anyway, that ghost seems fine. I'll let it live. Don't really have any options left here. Um, I guess I can check the backyard again. Maybe? Oh, fuck you, dude. Don't respawn. Piece of shit. Uh, TV? Anything changed with the TV? No. No. Oh, I can actually do this to, uh... Look through the light here. I swear that looks like I can go over there, but no. You following me? Chuckle fuck? Okay. Well, I'm stumped, honestly. I, uh... Well, maybe there's something here I can interact with. A chain and locked padlock are wrapped around the handle. Okay. So I need to find a... A lock. Oh, shit. Get fucked. Okay. That was rude. Turn around. Ba -ba bam Am I in danger? I am not. Am I... Oh, I'm... It's a good thing I found that ammo back there, honestly. The only other thing I can think of... Is that... Lighting that candle... Also lit the other candle that we found over here. That was in the window of that other house. I'm gonna check that real quick. If not... I'm sorry, I'm giving up. I'll play it again. But I'll look up the solution. <laughs> I'll just feel real dumb. But yeah, that's where I'm that's where I'm going next. That's my next objective for real. Hopefully that candle maybe unlocks the door that it's associated with. Uh Brother, uh No. Go away. I hate the red ones. I'm racist against the red one. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I just realized that <laughs> no sir, no sir. Okay, it looks like this candle is indeed lit. From what I can see, it's litty. And this door's now open. I'm a fucking genius, bro. It takes me fucking six years, but I find the answer. All right, let's, uh, it comes for us all. The recliner next to the fireplace that made the ear-piercing squeak is now silent. Oh, in the now silent living room. 
the side of the house where the truck rots under the moss-laden tarp. The garden that no longer blooms. Our graves don't lie just in cemeteries. They surround us. And our homes are the hosts. So wherever you are, know it's never too far. And remember, one day you will find the, all the places you loved filled with ghosts. Okay. I hear a ghosty goo. Sounds like a ghosty goo. I don't know what the hell. Okay, hold on. I can get an angle on this. Damn it. Okay. I can't see shit. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anything over here I can look at? Not really. Not particularly. Okay. Well, let's head into the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's, uh, perfectly reasonable. Cool. Hello. Um, I'm actually going to call it there for the first episode. <laughs> I know that's a bit of a cliffhanger, but, uh, yeah, we will definitely be checking this out next time. Uh, very cool. I feel so dumb with these puzzles, dude. This is why I don't play puzzle games, but also, like... <laughs> I really like them. So it's like, ah, it's, I'm so torn. But regardless, we're going to have some more fun next time. I'll see you in the next one.